Senior living in a sacred place is taking the Word of God into what we do every day. And we live that through our BVMs, we live that through our mission of Presbyterian Homes, that God has given us these gifts to serve and support each other. And that's how we care for our residents here. So as a resident, you feel that. You feel that presence of, of God and what we do. And that's just the environment that we want people to be living in. It's just a relaxing atmosphere. You're made feel so welcome here that you'll never feel abandoned as such. A, wondering if you fit in, you fit in. There's a sense of spirituality about this place. It's a calming kind of atmosphere. I knew I would circle back and, and end my life on the campus with my sisters. But the fact that this is open to the public and there's so many interesting people in this community was even more attractive to me than coming back and living with the BVMs. You know, there's a richness to the community. Paul said he wouldn't go anyplace else but yeah. Mount Carmel. The only place. We are a congregation of women religious within the Catholic Church. And our foundress, Mary Frances Clark, came from Dublin in 1833 and founded a congregation of women in Philadelphia. Then they came to Dubuque in 1843. We have been teachers, we have been paralegals, we have been social workers, we have been parish ministers. We are about ministry, we are about service, but the community that sense of that we are sisters to one another is probably the key that holds us together as sisters of Mary Frances Clark. We had been considering for quite a long time, a number of years, as to what would Mount Carmel, what are the possibilities for this land that has been our home for over 120 years now, uh, what are the possibilities for its future? We realized that we were going to need help, and we knew that so many people uh, really appreciated the beauty of this place, for the nature that's around us, the view of the river. It became part of our question, well, maybe other people would like to live here too, and that we, a new kind of community that's broader than the BVM community could be, could happen. So we spent a little more time and determined that a senior living community would be ideal. I think it was just pretty much almost a given after we toured a couple of press homes facilities and talked to the folks up in St. Paul. You know, it felt so good and their values resonated so closely with ours that, that we were really delighted to partner with press homes for this facility. We've helped a number of other Catholic organizations grow to partner and meet needs so we're generally aware of the potential needs and we were contacted first in 2016 by Robin Eggert, a consultant for the Sisters of BVM, to talk about our potential interests and collaboration. That led us to meeting with leadership from BVM a few months later where we talked uh, in depth about mission and about need. But what we found is that we had really strong alignment there, we were very pleased with that and felt that it set a foundation or provided a foundation that could be really meaningful for the future. So to us, this was an expansion of our own community and we welcomed it. It has been a richness to see how similar we are in that sense and yet um, the beauty is capturing a new sense of what's possible. I used to work here when I graduated from high school. I ran the dairy and I used to milk the cows and pasteurize the milk and put it in the cooler. In the last couple of years, my, been, my health hasn't been real good, so we decided to make a change. And I think Mount Carmel's the best place to Dubuque. And uh, it's the only place I would consider. For Paul, it was kind of like coming home, doing a full circle thing. It didn't take us long to decide, yes, this is where we wanted to be. So it's been a, a, a great move for us. You know, it's, it's hard to give up your own home, but there comes a time in your life that you realize it's time to make a change. And so this was a very good move for us.
There's a sense of everybody wanting to meet everybody. A lot of, you see somebody in an elevator and you exchange names right away. Um, and that kind of thing kind of melds you as a community. It, it feels like home, because it is my home. And uh, so much of what we have treasured, this community will be able to offer uh, as a model, really, for, for others. You know, when you walk into the building, you're just awestruck. You just have to take a step back and just look at everything and you almost think to yourself, am I really here? We currently on campus offer townhouse living in our apartments that we call our terrace, our independent living apartment. What that would enable a resident to do is actually age in place and have a care continue right here in our own community. People age through life, their care needs change and we will offer those services for each phase of that life. So we have a residential care facility, which is moderate assistant living. We also have a memory care unit um, for those patients that would need that service. And then we also would go into like more of a skilled long-term care facility. That again is very comforting for the resident and for the family because again, you're in the same community and the care continue to just go to one phase to the other depending on what the needs of the residents is. You know, our chapel is by far one of our biggest points just for the fact that we have, we, we celebrate uh, Mass there daily. Well, I like the Mass. You know, they got a, a good director and a good musicians. And... We have an amazing um, places for people to work out and to get their fitness activities in. We have open space that offers yoga, um, chair yoga we offer, different types of workouts there. We also have a dedicated space that has treadmills and elliptical machines. We have a sauna, we have a pool, so all different ways for people to get their physical activity in for the day. Also with that, we have a salon service. We have a main dining room area that offers breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Our independent residents have the availability to come over for a continental breakfast that's offered for them every morning, and they can dine with the different residents throughout the community. We've also just recently opened the bistro, our nice patio space and areas. There's different community living spaces throughout the campus. One of our more private spaces, of course, is our library. And this library has been here since the mother house has been built, you know, in the 1800s. Our theater is very popular because we have our own popcorn machine. The movies, you can count on me Tuesday night at six o'clock for movies. And if there's ice cream involved, Jeff will be there. We're busy folks here. We offer um, different activities regarding um, card games, um, some pool tournaments. As we get into our different levels of care, um, our activities will reflect those levels of care also. So very much offering lots of games and activities. Um, ice cream socials is always very much popular. We understand as residents come into the senior living community, they're giving up a lot. They're giving up many of their homes and their, their places of residence for many years. And we know that we're that next step for them. And we believe in that. And because of that, we offer an environment that is still fun. It's active. There's, you know, always something going on. We just know we have so much to offer that it should never be looked at as this phase of your life is anything other than enjoy your time. And we're here to help you do that. Well, yeah, I think this is the right move. There's no question that we've enjoyed it. And the things that we were looking for, I think, are here. So yeah, it's been a good move. It's a much more welcoming place, and it's a much stronger feeling of home. And I think a lot of BBMs feel that. It was really um, encouraging to see the spiritual dimension, that's the heart of the mission of both organizations, come to life. And we really think we're seeing that in powerful ways. So there's probably nothing more fulfilling than that. I would say it's the best site of any that I've ever had the privilege of work with. I maybe work with a hundred or more sites. This is a, an amazing location. Seeing the transformation of the campus into something more than we could have imagined for ourselves is a gift. And we know that this will continue for generations to come. And that's a real sense of legacy.
Mount Carmel Bluffs is senior living in a sacred place. Mount Carmel Bluffs is senior living in a sacred place. Mount Carmel Bluffs is senior living in a sacred place, a very special place.